The year was 2010. Barack Obama was president. The only TikTok to speak of was the song by Kesha. And a beloved animated Nickelodeon series had come to life as a live action movie. I'm talking, of course, about the critically panned 2010 film, The Last Airbender, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. An adaptation of the beloved 2005-08 series, Avatar. The Last Airbender, Shyamalan's film has become infamous for its failures. But there was no way yet another adaptation of that richly mythological series could crash and burn so spectacularly, right? Look, I wanted Netflix's, Avatar. The Last Airbender, now streaming, out of four, a new live-action series, to be good. I watched the original series first as a kid and then again, and again, as an adult, and consider it one of the best TV shows ever made, just ask my ballot in this poll. There was so much potential in this story minus about a world in which some people have the superpower to control water, fire, earth and air through what is called, bending, minus to create something gorgeous and striking in a live action medium. Not as a shot for shot recreation, but as its own epic that embraced the themes and tone of its source material. But out of fear of angering die-hard fans, lack of time and or budget or a fundamental misunderstanding of what adaptation really means, the new Avatar is a regretful mess in its first season. Both too slavish to the original and too far removed from it, the new Avatar fails in every way. And it's infuriating. In both the new and original series, the world of Avatar is divided into four nations the Earth Kingdom, the Air Nomads, the Water Tribes and the Fire Nation, each with benders who can control their respective elements. Things were fine until the Fire Nation started a century-long war bent on world domination. Just as this war was starting, the mythical Avatar, the only bender who can control all four elements, disappeared. Turns out the 12-year-old Avatar Aang, Gordon Cormier, is the only airbender to survive a Fire Nation-led genocide, hence the title, and wound up frozen in an iceberg for 100 years before he's woken by teen waterbender Katara, Kiawaintio, and her brother Sokka, Ian Ausley. The trio sets off on a mission for Aang to learn all four elements and help save the world. They are closely hunted by the Fire Nation's Prince Zuko, Dallas Liu, who has a maniacal desire to capture Aang after his father, Daniel Day Kim, banished him until he can do so. Creator Albert Kim, Sleepy Hollow, has clearly tried to maintain fidelity to the animated series. In many ways, it looks like a carbon copy of the cartoon brought to life minus some scenes and aesthetics are recreated with excruciating detail. The original pilot, one of the weakest episodes of the cartoon, is basically refilmed. But it was a lot of effort for not.